and she talks now. Okay, great. Let's get started. Our theme today is going to be side work. So we'll be doing a lot of lateral movements. Let's start uh, by getting our posture set up, feet under hips, engaging those inner thighs, lift up the rib cage, leaving room to really hold on to your core, roll the shoulder blades down the back, back of the head over back of the spine, feel the alignment, try to maintain this straight posture throughout. And we'll start our warm up with a Batman series. You know, I didn't push this out of the way. Batman series. Uh, first position, arms out for balance. We're gonna go front side front and then switch sides. So straight leg kick leading with the hail, side, front, switch feet, front, side, front, and switch, front, side, front, front, side, front. So working on holding on to that core to keep everything in alignment, not bending forward at the waist as you kick your leg. Legs straight, try not to let that knee bend. Keeping that turnout alignment in your hips. So leading to the front with your heel, leading to the side with your toe, front, side, front, one more set, front, side, front, last set, or last one, front, side, and front. Nice job. Coming down into a second position, we are going to just start with some plies, plie, and up, plie, and up, pushing those knees out to the sides, making sure that those big toes are staying inside the knees, sitting back a little bit to keep that head and chest upright. Plie, four, three, two, we're gonna stay down here, stay down here, reach side, 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 side. Again, really engage that core to be tall head and chest, side, side for eight, seven, six, five, strong arms, four, three, two, and one, just hold for eight, seven, six, trying to get deeper into that plie, four, three, two, one, rise up. Nice job picking up those weights. Let's come into our arm series. Let's start with a large to small circles. So feet parallel, roll those shoulder blades back, bring those arms back and front. So really big circles here, really engaged core, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. This is a nice way to warm up the shoulders as well as start putting a little bit of work in. A nice, slow, big movement, huge range of motion. Awesome. Keep it going. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, we're gonna make it small after this. Three, two, and one. Bring it to the side. Circle, circle, front, circle, circle. Arms parallel, circle, circle. Shoulders away from the ears. Shoulder blades down the back. Core engaged, circle, 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 circle. Eight, seven, Six, we're not gonna be done. Four, three, two, circle back. Circle, circle, circle. Keep it going, awesome. Keep it up, keep those arms up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Awesome, really good. Let's come into those flies. Feet parallel, knees slightly soft, bending forward from the hip, no booty out, no booty in. Nice straight back, roll the shoulder blades down the back. We're gonna do our flies and fly. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, bringing the work into the back, head in line. So it's a straight line from the top of your head down to your tailbone, not dropping your head down, bringing those arms up to squeeze. Let's go three up, one, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Squeezing at the top, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three, and down. Nice job, keep it going. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. Two more like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Let's reverse it now. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Up, three, two, one. Slow and controlled. Three, two, one, up, three, two, one. Nice job, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one, two more, up, three, two, one, up, three, two, one. Let's just come into a hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Bring those arms down. Come back to standing. We're gonna come to our plate put away. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Hang on, okay. Ah, uh, great. Plate put away. I don't know why it's being so weird. Okay, let's. Uh, come into our first position, heels together, squeeze those thighs together, arms are parallel, and we're going to start out bent, and as we rise up, put that plate away, rise it up, put the plate away, up, reaching up into that tallest cabinet, never letting the elbows come down below parallel, pushing up to put it up, nice, reach and down, reach and down, holding on to that core for a nice soft rise, nice soft landing and down, reach and down. Nice job for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, stay up here, in, out, in, out, elbows staying up, parallel to the ground, up in your releve for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. We are going to come down to the mat for uh, some bird dog triceps. So I am just gonna fold up my mat here to protect my knees. Uh, weight in one hand, feet, uh, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, roll that shoulder blade back, lift that weight up. If you'd like to add a little more challenge, extend the opposite leg, lift that arm up for a tricep pulse, up. Up, up, strong core lifting from below, straight spine, up, 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 up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arm facing, elbow stays up. We're gonna go through these full range tricep lifts, lifts your palm is facing your thigh into your body. Push up, four, three, two, 
One, keeping your palm in that position. We're gonna go back to these lifts, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, palm up to the sky, leg optional, pulse up. Keeping those shoulder blades squeezing toward one another. That helps lift your hand up above the booty, which is our goal here. Strong core for eight, seven, six, five, looking good for three, two, one. Palm face the thigh, full range, tricep extensions, up, up, up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that palm in the same position facing the body and pulse, 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 pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, mat back to the side if it is going to be in your way. And we are going to put our weights to the side as well and come into our bar series. I'm going to get my chair. We are going to start with our diamond plie series, our first position plies. I am going to, you know, I'm not gonna use the ball because we're gonna do some variation here. I normally like to use the ball. So let's just start setting up your alignment. First position, feet out about 45 degrees, knees straight over hips. Let's just start these demi plies. Heels stay down. My demi plies are really shallow because uh, an ankle injury on my left ankle left my Achilles tendon super short. So I just don't have a lot of range of motion. So don't be limited by, your, by my range of motion. As long as you're keeping your heels on the floor, go into your plie for four, three, two, and one. We're gonna alternate lifting your heel up and plie. Staying tall and upright. Plie, the standing foot is, uh, that heel is staying on the, on the ground. Plie, plie. So switching feet, plie, 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 plie for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, face your bar, grand plie. So down as far as you can, then lift the heels up, heels down first and then rise. So always keeping those heels as close to the floor as you can, using the chair for support, head and shoulders very upright, knees pressing straight out, making sure to keep that nice alignment between your feet and your knees so that our joints are not going in opposite directions. Grand and up, grand and up. Two more, grand and up. Last one, grand plie and up. Releve, heels together. We are going to do uh, alternate dropping the heel to tap. So tap, rise up to releve, tap, rise up to releve, tap, releve, tap, releve. So it's very similar to what we were doing before, except for the default is releve instead of heels on the floor. Tap, 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 tap for four, three, two, and one, stay up here, try to balance for eight, seven, 
six, up and releve, squeeze those thighs, squeeze those heels together, four, three, two, one, release, nice job. Our next move, let's do some diagonal leg raises behind. So standing, facing the bar, feet parallel, trying to stay upright for this, leg parallel behind. Raise that leg behind. So you should feel some nice engagement here in the side of the glute and rising up the back. We don't wanna stress our back. So be very careful not to you know, extend your chest and let your spine flex. Pushing back with that heel in a diagonal. We're not going straight back. We're going in a diagonal for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bend over that chair, leg out diagonal again, diagonal behind you, hips facing the floor. Don't open this hip and pulse, 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 pulse. Still strong in the core, we're not collapsing. We're just letting our body lean forward a little to give us more extension for eight, seven, six, five. Reset your hips. Three, two, one. Set it down. Other side, tall. Diagonal behind. Diagonal, diagonal. Protecting that spine by engaging the core. Diagonal lift behind. Squeeze that glute at the top of the movement. The shortening of those glute muscles is what's lifting that leg. As they engage, they get shorter. Lift, lift for four, three, two, and one. Bending over that chair, diagonal side, out to the side, lift, lift. Lift, lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Our last move at the bar. We are going to get our paper plate glider or towel, if you have one, to let you move more smoothly on the floor. We are going to do uh, some lateral lunges, but we're going to do diagonal. So I guess they're not really lateral because they're not to the side. We're going to start by lunging diagonally to the front, lunging diagonally to the back. So I know it's hard to see on the camera, but I'm like neither fully front nor fully back, front. And when you're drawing in, you are using, just gonna get this chair out of the way, using your inner thighs to bring your feet back together. So we're in a first position here. Use those inner thighs to draw back in. Slightly to the front, slightly to the back. Slightly to the front. Nice, good traveling. I love it. Really working those inner thighs here. Draw in for four, three, two, one. Stay out front for eight, just a little movement. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, draw it in to the back for eight, seven, six, five, four, and using the standing leg to draw it in three, two, one. So it's not about moving that moving leg, it's about that standing leg muscle pulling it in. Other, other side, first position, slightly to the front, draw it in. Slightly to the back, draw it in. Diagonal glide, diagonal glide. 
Nice lunge and a lunge. A lot of weight on that gliding foot on the way in to engage the inner thigh. Out and in, out and in. Nice job, out and in. Four more, four, three, two, last one, to the front, eight, seven, using this leg, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw it into the back for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Draw it in. Ooh, I definitely feel that on my inner thighs. That's nice. Okay, let's get ready to come down to the mat for our core series. Ooh, our air conditioning is broken today. So I am real warm. I don't think stretching is gonna be a problem for me. Thank goodness it's not Sunday when it was 91 degrees. Let's start with a Russian twist. You can sit down on the mat, feet in front of you, knees bent, staying here, hands at chest, twist, twist, twist. If you would like to make this a little more challenging, coming up into that boat, twist, twist, twist. And let's keep our hands at our chest. Sometimes we'll reach back with our elbow to try to touch the mat. But right now I'd like to concentrate more on the twisting motion and less on trying to reach a particular goal. Twist. Now if your elbows happen to touch, that's awesome. Twist, twist, twist for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the boat. If you're not in the boat, rise up and see if you can join me here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, coming into a challenging plank series. We're going to do two sets. The first set, uh, you can be on either set, of course, you can be on knees or on toes. Uh, we're going to twist to bring the elbow to the knee. And again, focus on the twist, not the goal. If your knee is, touch, is not touching, it's totally fine. Mine is mostly not right now. I'm just reaching under. Twist, strong through the shoulders not letting your spine collapse in between your shoulder blades, not popping the booty up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a little break, roll your wrists to let some of the pressure off, get a little stretch in your quads and along the front of your foot, along your shins. Second set, you can stick with that or you can bring your leg through to come up into a side plank, kick the other leg through into a side plank, kick and step, kick and step. Nice, kick, kick, beautiful, keep it up. Nice elevation above the ground, keeping those hips high, high in that side plank. Nearly impossible to have your hips too high in a side plank. Four, three, 
two and one. Hold this side plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Side plank. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Coming down to the mat, let's do some work on our lower core with some leg raises. So I'm going to put my thumbs underneath my glutes. If you need more support, you can put your whole hand. If you need less support, you can just have your hands on the mat, lifting those legs up, keeping head and shoulders down on the mat, slowly lower, slowly lift. So really going slow here, trying to hover the feet above the mat, not touching down, down and rise, down and rise. Four more like this, four, up, three, up, two, strong core engaged to keep a gentle curve, but not an exaggerated curve in your lower spine. Last one like this and up. All right, let's do what we did with our flies. Three down, one up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three. That lift is fast, but still try to do it with muscles and not with momentum. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up two more. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Now down one, up three, down. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. Really putting on the brakes to stop those legs on that quick down, down. One, two, three, four more. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, two, one, two, three. Last one, one, two, three. Legs, three quarters. See if you can lift your head and chest. Reach with your hands for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All done. Hug your knees. We're going to stretch a little bit now. You can rock side to side. I always find that one to be pretty heavy on my hamstrings. So let's do a stretch here. Not my hamstrings, my hip flexors. Let's do a hip flexor stretch. So roll up your mat to protect your knees. Hands on hips, step one foot way ahead, not 90 degrees, way more than 90 degrees. Push your hips forward, reaching back. Grab your hands, clasp hands, get a nice chest stretch here. Chest, arm, shoulder, nice. Letting the weight of your hips pull them forward to give you an even better stretch in those hip flexors. And pushing back, switch feet, other foot way in front, hands on hips to keep your hips parallel as you push them forward. This time, reach one arm across the chest, Keeping that shoulder blade rolled down in the socket, that will give you the stretch in your arm instead of just, you know, rotating your shoulder into place. And switch sides. Push back. Palms to the floor, keeping them there. Step out into a super wide V. Bring your head down toward the mat. Toes pointing in. 
toward each other, those big toes trying to point toward each other. A nice stretch here. Walk over to one side, opposite hand on the outside. Let's do a twist here. Reaching right now, I'm reaching toward my right leg. My right arm is up in the air, looking up at that right arm. Feeling the nice stretch on those inner thighs. We really work them with our uh, lunges. Walking over to the other side. Opposite arm outside, same arm up in the air. Feeling this nice stretch. Palms back to center, hands on your hips, turn your feet out into second position, slowly roll up. Nice. Arms out, sit up tall, come down into a plie, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Nice job, one more time. Beautiful job keeping that head and chest upright and not leaning forward, especially when we're tired at the end of class. All right, take your bow, Jonathan. I think that it was just you. I, so I'm not even, well, I guess I could do my curtsy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you very much too. I appreciate it.